Question 12 reads, if y is directly proportional to x squared and y equals 1 eighth when x equals 1 half, what is the positive value of x when y is equal to 9 halves? This is a proportions question, and to solve it, you have to know the rule for direct proportionality. So let's write that down. Direct proportionality means that if you have the two numbers, a and b, are directly proportional to each other, that means that a1 over b1 is equal to a2 over b2. The ratio between the two numbers a and b is always the same. That's direct proportionality. So now that we know the relationship, let's get it set up. In this case, we have y directly proportional to x squared. That means, according to this rule, that y over x squared is going to be equal to y over x squared for any pair of y's and x's. So, a first pair of y's and x's that we're given is y equals 1 eighth and x equals 1 half. So that relationship is that 1 eighth over 1 half squared has got to be equal to our second set of x's and y's. We know that the second y is 9 halves, and what we don't know is the second x. Remember, it's x squared that's part of the proportionality. So that's the correct setup. Now we're ready to solve for x. This involves a lot of fractions, so this part can be tricky too. Let's first start by simplifying this one over here. 1 eighth over 1 half squared is 1 fourth, and that's equal to 9 halves over x squared. Now that we have two fractions equal to each other, you can just cross multiply and solve, but that 1 eighth over 1 fourth is pretty messy. Let's try and fix that. So if you have a fraction divided by a fraction, remember you just multiply by its reciprocal. So if we wanted to solve for 1 eighth over 1 fourth, and I'll do the scratch work over here, it would be 1 eighth times 1 fourth's reciprocal, 4 over 1, which is equal to 4 over 8 or 1 half. That means we can replace this with 1 half, which looks a lot nicer. So this is 1 half is equal to 9 halves over x squared. Now we can cross multiply and solve. 1 times x squared, and I'll work over here, this is getting to be a lot of work. 1 times x squared is just x squared, and 9 halves times 2 is just 9. x squared equals 9, and because we know x is positive, that means we want the positive square root of 9, x is equal to 3. So the correct answer is D, 3.